Zoom Pizza were able to make pizzas with robots that were half the calories and half the fat of a regular pizza. And they started baking your pizza when the pizza oven delivery truck was only four minutes away from your home, providing you with a fresh, out-of-the-oven pizza when it arrived at your doorstep. And if you walk into the Spice Restaurant in Boston, you'll be served healthy dishes designed by a Michelin star chef in three minutes for $7.50. This is done by using a robotic system made up of rotating walks. This video takes a look at the different ways robots are being used to cook our food for us. From robotic arms that can flip burgers, to vending machines that can make custom salad bowls, which provide doctors and nurses with healthy meals during their shifts 24 hours a day. There's also the new concept of ghost kitchens, and how in the future, robots could be cooking your food deliveries too. High rent in cities not only makes it harder for people to start their own food businesses, it also drives people to live further away from the cities, making it more difficult to find workers. This all adds to prices people have to pay when buying meals. You also have countries like Japan that have an aging and shrinking population. The average age in Japan is 46 years old, so there is a low number of unskilled workers, making it expensive to hire people. So in Japan, they need to have restaurants that are able to work efficiently with fewer humans. The benefits of having robots cooking is that you need less space, which means paying less rent. And the robots can take care of repetitive tasks, while humans supervise and manage the machines. All of this allows more people to start food businesses, and the money saved on rent and human workers can be invested back to create higher quality meals. A robotic kitchen also allows for customers to be able to customize their dishes and still get their food fast. Julia Collins, the co-creator of Zoom Pizza, a company that made pizza-making robots, said that using robots lowered their labor costs, allowing them to invest those savings into using locally sourced, responsibly farmed ingredients. The higher quality ingredients that Zoom Pizza used meant their pizzas were about half the calories and half the fat of the national average for a pizza. And the labor costs were half the national average for pizza chains. But the human workers that did work at Zoom Pizza all had full health benefits and were shareholders in the company. Human workers are still important in robotic kitchens. They're needed for different tasks, such as preparing the food for when the robots and machines take over, making sauces, making side dishes, and keeping things working smoothly. MIT researchers found that human and machine teams are more productive than teams of only humans or only machines. Let's walk into the Spice Restaurant in Boston, a restaurant that was started by four MIT engineering students. These students were water polo teammates who needed nutritious food on a student budget, and they had little time to cook. Along with water polo, they were also obsessed with robotics. One of the founders, who is the CEO, used to work at SpaceX. These engineering and robotic-minded students teamed up with Danielle Ballou, a Michelin star chef, to start Spice. Spice uses seven robotic walks that can serve 150 meals per hour. These robotic walks can cook customizable rice and grain bowls, curries, salads, stir-fries, pasta, and noodle bowls. You can get Korean, Thai, Indian, and other styles of dishes. A customer walks in and places an order on a touchscreen, and they are able to customize their dish. The order then automatically engages the ingredient delivery system. Hoppers load the ingredients into the woks. The woks rotate, cooking the food using induction heating, a technology invented by Nikola Tesla. The wok then tips the cooked food into a bowl. A human then garnishes the food and makes sure it is presentable. Meanwhile, jets are automatically spraying and sanitizing the woks, making them ready for the next order. All of the meals were designed to work with the one cooking technique, and it takes three minutes from placing your order to getting your dish, each costing $7.50. Over in San Francisco, you have the Creator Burger Restaurant. This restaurant uses an assembly line approach to making burgers. Two fully automated machines that are each 14 feet long are able to make 240 burgers in an hour. Even a lot of the prep work is done by the machines, from cutting the tomatoes for each order to grinding the meat and forming it into patties. 
There are 20 computers and 350 sensors that make this possible. And when it comes to cooking the meat patties, there are 11 thermal sensors at work. Humans are still needed to do other prep work and also to make sauces and sides. The machines slice the burger buns and then butters and toasts them. The sliced buns are then moved along a mechanical conveyor belt and fresh ingredients based on the order are then freshly cut and dropped onto the bun. The burger patties are chuck and brisket chunks that are grounded and cooked to order. The robot machines allows creator to spend much more on premium ingredients while giving customers a low-priced burger all in five minutes. A burger at McDonald's in San Francisco can cost up to four to five dollars, while the Creator Burger costs six dollars. Another way of making burgers with robots is to use a robotic arm. This can be seen at the Pasadena outlet of Cali Burger. They partnered with Miso Robotics to create the Flippy Robot. Flippy is an AI-driven robotic arm that works as a kitchen assistant. It uses 3D and thermal sensors and cameras. It knows when patties are placed on the grill by a human and will monitor each patty as they cook. Flippy will also switch utensils by itself, using a separate spatula when it comes to flipping the burger on the raw meat side and another spatula for the cooked meat side. And it can also clean the grill. This saves having a human employee be in front of a hot, greasy grill all day, or standing in front of a hot oil fryer, since there is another version of Flippy that can manage fryers, which can be seen working at the Los Angeles Dodgers Stadium. If you want a little robotic help at home, then look to the over 20,000 Amazon Alexa-enabled devices. The Amazon Microwave allows you to say how long you want it to cook for, or ask it to stop without having to push any buttons. You can even ask it for more specific commands, since there are pre-programmed presets. You can ask it, microwave 8 ounces of frozen vegetables, or reheat 1 cup of coffee. These microwaves even have scanning software that allows you to scan the barcode of food packages with your phone, and it will automatically set the time and power level to the instructions on the packaging. There are also voice-controlled coffee makers, so while you're waking up in your bedroom, you can instruct the bedroom speaker to start the coffee maker that is all the way downstairs. Or you can program the coffee maker to automatically brew coffee at a certain time each morning. When you're out of the house, another robotic food option is the Sally vending machine created by Chowbotics. Sally creates healthy bowls which you can customize, letting you choose up to eight ingredients for your salad, grain, or yogurt bowl. They can be found in 70 locations worldwide, including university campuses. They are also found in hospitals, a place that is operating 24 hours a day. Sally lets doctors and nurses working day and night shifts, along with visitors, have healthy meals at any time, replacing junk food vending machines. Each bowl is made in 90 seconds, and the 22 ingredients are refrigerated and restocked each day. All of this fits into a 3 foot by 3 foot space and can serve meals 24 hours a day. Earlier, we mentioned Zoom Pizza and the Dobot, the pizza-making robot. This is how it worked. In a main facility, robots made the pizzas alongside humans. Delivery trucks were then loaded with racks of pizzas and ingredients. When an order was placed, a pizza would be loaded into the oven in the delivery truck and make its way to the customer's location. It won't start baking the pizza until it is four minutes away, so it is fresh out of the oven when it arrives. These pizza ovens on wheels eliminate the need for having expensive buildings all around town to make pizzas in, and they allow you to deliver to people that are further away from your main location, as each delivery truck is a pizza-making hub. Zoom stopped making pizzas in January 2020 and is refocusing on providing automated food production and mobile kitchen systems to other food companies, along with sustainable packaging. The reason why Zoom is focusing on automating delivery production is because of the huge rise in online food deliveries. These days, most people have never set foot into the restaurant where they are getting their food delivered from, and this has given birth to ghost kitchens, also known as virtual kitchens. These are commercial kitchens that are set up just to make deliveries. There's no need for an expensive restaurant space where people sit down and eat when you can just make online deliveries. Some are operated like a co-working space, where in a large space you have a number of small kitchens that could be rented out month to month. 
catering companies have been using these kitchens. Now you have food delivery only restaurant names being started in them. And there are also restaurants who do have a restaurant location that operate in a ghost kitchen in another part of the city. This lets them expand their delivery area without needing to open another restaurant space. Both Deliveroo and Uber Eats have opened ghost kitchens in Paris. Ghost kitchens are also popping up in London, Los Angeles, and China. And the former CEO of Uber, Travis Kalanick, started a kitchen company called Cloud Kitchens. The question then is when will these two worlds collide? Where robots end up being installed into these ghost kitchens? Maybe having one human prepping the ingredients while a robot machine does the cooking and assembling of the dishes, working side by side. The meals then get picked up by a delivery person and make their way to the customer's door. Or maybe you won't even need the human there by the robot's side. Instead, a human can travel around the city to different ghost kitchens, as the robot sent messages saying they need some assistance or more ingredients. So the robots keep on working and ask us humans for help. On the next episode of Venture City, we take a look at 3D printers and how they will build our future for us. Hit the thumbs up button and press the subscribe button to not miss a video.